Um, hey guys, BT Delta 101, and today I'm just going to show you how to get into the uh, hidden programming modes on the Empire Prophecy Z2. Um, Simon from Empire Paintball made a video on this, or not a video, I guess he made a PB Nation post on it and uh, showed people how to do it because they might have been having issues with their Z2 and he felt like people should finally know. Um, waited a while to release it, which was interesting, but uh, that's a whole different story. I don't really care. I'm just glad that you can actually adjust your settings now and you've actually been told how to. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tell you how to do it, and then I'm gonna actually do it. Like I can't really show it in front of the camera because it requires a bunch of different hands to do. Like it, it, it takes up all my hands, and I only have uh, like I have to hold my camera and do this because my tripod's messed up right now. So, anyways, uh, what you do is you turn it on so it'll start spinning. No paint in the loader, obviously. And what you'll do is you'll hold the left button down, and as soon as you hold the left button, then go over and with your other finger and hold the right button down. So you're holding both of them at the same time. And um, as soon as right here starts to flash green, you want to release the left button and then the right button. And you have to do that in the right sequence. Um, and then it'll uh, bring up a solid color. Um, and then that'll be your first mode. And um, I'll show you how to do or I'll just do it now. And then I'll show you what programming mode looks like. So here we go. Um, so I'm now in programming mode. And you can cycle through your different modes. There's green, red, um, or orange, red, blue, and then back to green. Um, Green is your motor speed, and it can be adjusted anywhere from one to six. Um, I think one is one or two is best for PSP 12.5. Um, red, I can't, I can't really remember these settings because uh, you don't really need to change them. Uh, but green is like the the easiest one to change if you're uh, having issues with uh, chopping in your loader and stuff. Uh, and to change your function, you just press the right button once, or however many times you want to set the setting at. So if you want to change that, or I'll just go back, because if you press off of it, or if you don't press it every once in a while, then it'll just cancel the mode, and it'll just go back to spinning. But um, to change that, you press, like say you want to get three, you press this, the right button three times, and that'll set it to function, like three function. Um, and same with red, if you want to set that to whatever, you press it however many times you want to set it to for the right button. And to, uh, to get out of programming mode, um, you basically just let it sit here, so watch. You just let it sit, don't move anything. And eventually this will start to spin. So there you go. And now you're out of programming mode. See? And it's that simple. Um, really don't know why it took so long to release the uh, the hidden programming modes. I don't really care again though. Um, I guess Simon had his reasons for it, so no biggie. But uh, that's how you do it. And if you guys want uh, further information on how to do it, just ask me. But I tried to make it somewhat clear. Um, it's kind of hard to do with one hand. So um, again, what you do is you turn it on with no paint and the loader. Hold the right left button down while holding the right button down. So you kind of do left first, then right, and hold them both down for five seconds until right here will start to flash green. As soon as it starts to flash green, release the uh, the left, and then release right, and it has to be done in the proper sequence, like I said, otherwise it won't work. And once you've done that, you're in programming mode, and you cycle through your functions with the left button, and you uh, set your function um, numbers uh, with the right button. And again, if you want to set it, um, say you want to set to uh, a setting at 3, you press this 3 times, and then it'll set it. And then this will usually that little orange button here will flash indicating that it has it'll flash three blinks fast saying that that's what your settings on or if it's on one it'll flash one slowly and that's how you know so uh, that's my video on the hidden modes guys uh, thanks for watching